All right, six days till the live game. It's time to change it up. Now, based on Colt's idea, we have a new plan. Yeah, it was the Cam Newton stuff I was telling you about. So we're gonna do some simple reads off defenders. So let's focus, get some good work in. All right, let's start out slow. Instead of reading the entire field like I've been expecting you to do, we're only gonna focus on one side of the field. Now, in this situation, you only have to worry about Colt and the tight end. Ignore every other player on the field. Now, the tight end is gonna be running an out route to the sideline. I'm gonna be running a curl. You only have to make one read on this play. When the tight end runs his route, is he covered by the linebacker? If he is, you throw it to Colt. If he's not, then you throw it to the tight end. Simple, right? That's it? Yep, just one read. All right, let's go. All right, we got cold on this one. There we go. Okay, okay, we can do this. See? Great read. Okay, now we got a safety back there, and the corner's still covering cold. Just need to make one read here, Dave. Now we know the corner's in zone because... He's facing the middle of the field. Good. Now we're gonna attack that safety, make him cover one of our receivers. And when he does it, cover should be open, right? You got it. Ready? All right, see if we can now mess this one up. All right, they're shuffling around. Just find the open guy, and we're good. Uh, what? I just Move hit the left on. trigger. Why did it do that? Okay, what? we're gonna read the cornerback on this play. One simple read again. The slot receiver is gonna be running a deep corner route to the sideline. If the cornerback covers him, that should leave me open on the curl. If the cornerback covers me. The slot receiver should be open. Make sense? I think so, yeah. Alright, maybe I hit the wrong button. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be left trigger on that play. I don't know. Oh yeah, we got our man right here. That was a bullet pass right into his chest. See, that's just another example of a matchup mismatch. We're exposing the truth by forcing one of the defenders to show us who he's covering. And then we make the defense pay for it by throwing it to the guy who's wide open. All off one read. All right, let's take a break. I think we're finally making some great progress. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the media, thank you for being here today. Take a look down. Look at your feet. You see them standing there? Say hi to them, wave to them. Hi, hi feet, how are you? Where are you standing, Feet? Ask them that. You're standing on the cusp of history. I have assembled Drago. And in Devon Wade, I've found Rocky. Tomorrow night's game will be the football equivalent of World War III. And now, the man of the hour, the star of Longshot, Devon Wade. Come this far. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not make it weird. All right. Good. Questions? Fire away. Nothing's off limits. All right. A little nervous here. Him up there alone is not a great idea. You gotta give them what they want, Julia. Oh, Ross. Uh, right here. What's this game experience going to prove about Devin Wade? Uh, uh, what I mean is, this is basically NFL competition, and you haven't played football at any level for what, three years? I have been away for a few years, yeah, but uh, you know, I have a great team behind me, and you know, I couldn't do it on my own. Uh, then let me cut to the chase. Are you ready mentally? I mean, I don't know if you're ever ready until you're in it. Devin, Devin, I covered your career at the University of Texas. You ever call Coach Housel to apologize? And if you don't excel tomorrow night, all their eyes on you, what's to stop you from hightailing again? OK, 
Okay, Coach Hausler knew it was a difficult time for me. And for tomorrow, I guess, I just want people to know what I'm capable of. What are you capable of? It's a pretty big leap to go from some guy walking down the street and become an NFL quarterback in six weeks. What, what makes you capable to judge me? When your father died, you struggled badly playing Division I. What makes you think you can go to the pro level? I don't know. I guess I... Uh... You have to step in. He's fine. Hey, after you left UT, you went to hiding. A five-star blue-chip quarterback doesn't usually vanish. Where'd you disappear to? Earth to Devon. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? OK, OK, that's all the time we have for questions. Thank you all for being here. Uh, there will be a meet and greet in the lobby with the NFL legends. OK, thank you, Julia, and thank you, Devin. Let's get in here uh, real quick. OK, and don't forget, tell everyone to be sure to tune in tomorrow night when Devin steps in to the Thunderdome. Hey, Pat, to you and the viewers out there, I got to tell you in and fill you in on this new reality series called Long Shot. So, Pat, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Does Devin Wade realistically have a shot to make an NFL roster? Jimmy, they're calling it the long shot for a reason. This is going to be a ridiculously long shot. Those NFL legends, these are some of the greatest competitors and the greatest minds of the game over the last generation. They're not going to give it to this kid for free. They're not going to let him come in here off a limited college experience and make an NFL football team. But I will say this, if Devin goes out there and performs well, there's going to be a lot of noise. There's going to be a lot of excitement. And Jim, I got to tell you, I don't think he can do it. Well, this is going to be interesting to watch. And he here? Or here. <clears throat> Ross, you have a minute. <laughs> For my boy Devin here, I've got the rest of both of our lives. <laughs> uh, Mr. Fountain, I want to postpone doing the live game. <laughs> you guys. Okay, this is a candid camera thing. This is going to be good for the show, by the way. I love this. I love this. All right, guys, come on out. This is good. You got me? Got me? <laughs> no, see, after last night, I realized... Uh, I just need more time. I wanted to come tell you myself. But I'm, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm hmm You're sorry? You're sorry? OK. Sorry doesn't cut it when there's a throng of scouts and media all here for your benefit, salivating to see you perform. You, you, you couldn't have um, brought this up a little sooner? Jack told you two weeks ago it was a bad idea. Jack, 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 Jack. You know what? You're fired! What? Yeah, that's right. Lock the door when you leave, too, because WizKid Jr. here is not going anywhere. Devin, let's go. Is everything cool in here? Oh, it is now. Suit up, little man, because you're taking Devin's spot in tomorrow's game. Uh, huh. I'm a wide receiver. I always knew there was something off about you. Fine! <laughs> Get me Smizniak. Get me Smith. Rhonda, hello? Hello? Oh, this thing's not even plugged in! Calm down. Calm down? You're fired! What? You can't do that. I just did. We're out of here. Jack Ford was right about you. You what? Oh, yeah, he didn't want you. Nobody did. I'm glad you're ruining your stupid grid steel career. Guys. Guys. Hey, hey, guys. Come on. I didn't mean what I said. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. Come on. Hey. Hey! You two nobodies better be back here in two hours, and somebody better be on that frickin' field, or I'm gonna... I will... 
Devin, wait up. Why? Look, I heard what happened in there. We can make this right. But what do you care? Huh? You, you stay here, maybe they'll bring back Smizniak, huh? That's, that's what you wanted, right? What are you talking about? Ross told me how you felt. Yeah, what well, about come that? Come on, Devin. Grow up. We're way past that. And it's never gonna matter what I or anybody else thinks. It matters what you think. Look, you quit now, and you're giving yourself permission to quit on everything else in your life. I don't think that's who you are. Nice beach, coach. Let's go. Let's go, man. Come on, man. I don't want to talk about it, man. Okay. So, what's this about some ceremony over at the rec hall tonight? Bunch of grown men fawning over football players. Lord, I do not get it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm back at work, so I don't think I'll make it. Are you serious? You push around a wheelbarrow. Hey! At least someone in this house is working. 22 years old and still have your mama coming over and cooking and cleaning for you. Yeah, well, nobody asked you to. That show's a waste of time if you ask me. Head in the clouds, just like your daddy. Yeah, way better to be stuck here in this dump hole getting applauded by nobodies, huh? Hey, Colm Cruz, don't you talk to your mama like that. Fine. I'll go start the car. <sighs> you know, not everyone's destined to be a big star, you know. You boys need to get that into your head. Listen, Colt, he, he looks up to you. Just, just think about what I said. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give him a talk. Oh, you look just like your daddy. Now go on, get out of here. Go on. What are you doing? Look, Dev. I put up with you for a long time, man. I've tried to be supportive through everything. But I've just gotten to the point where I'm at. I'm just done. You want to waste your talent, you go right ahead. But if you're going to quit, you know you need to tell him. Keep driving. <laughs> no. I ain't moving. I'm so sick of doing everything the great Devin Wade wants, just so you can waste every opportunity we have. You don't get it. And most days, I wish I wasn't state champion Devin Wade. It, it, it's, it's exhausting being responsible for someone else. You know, I... I just want to be me. You just want to be you. You is all you seem to care about. Flying solo hasn't worked out so well for you, has it? Anything ever happens to you, the wheels just come flying off. You just throw your hands up in the air. 
Well, guess what? I'm done being the one to pick you up, Dev. What? <laughs> Look, you don't know what it's like to lose your dad. I don't. Did you ever meet my dad? Because I sure didn't. Your father was the closest thing I ever had to a dad, but you don't think about that because all you ever think about is yourself. But at least you had your mom, man. I didn't have anyone after my dad died. Not anyone? Come on, Dev, we're like brothers. But after your dad died, there was just, there was no talking to you. Listen, people die, Dev, but you can't just abandon everyone that cares about you, okay? Life goes on. Man, you shut your mouth. I don't gotta put up with this crap. You need to hear this. See, you always tell yourself you tried, but guess what? You never really tried. The first sign of trouble, and you head for the hills. That producer flipped out, and boy, did you see a green light and run, because that's all you do is run. You know what, Dev? I've been meaning to ask you. Those three picks against Oregon, did you throw them on purpose so you could run away? He really think that little of me. Wait, no, Dev, I... No, I don't, I don't have to hear this, man. Dev, wait. Look. Oh. Man, you did that to yourself.